My name's Ruth and um, I'm an archaeologist and I, for many years I taught at University of California at Berkeley and went on excavations in Europe and Turkey and um, now I'm involved with the Center for Digital Archaeology because I've been involved with digital archaeology and especially the use of digital technology in archaeology for many, many years. My dream is to create guides, digital mobile guides, for cultural heritage places and archaeological sites. How did I put this into practice was through the very fortunate accident really, well not really an accident, but I came into contact with the, one of the founders of map to app that is Pietro. He explained to me, I remember in one cafe, one afternoon he explained to me how easy it would be to create this thing which I had been wanting to create all these years. Angel Island Mobile, can you can carry it with you and you can find your way to the historic places. There's a, I created a historic places category and so you can go to these, one of these historic places and see historic photos or doc, other documents, photos of documents, while you are at the place itself. So you get this view of a place and see how now it's completely abandoned, it's empty, it's ghost-like. But then you can see a photograph on Angel Island Mobile that you are carrying with you of how busy the place was at certain times. You can also, if you want to get away from the historic ghostly places and walk up to the top of Mount Livermore, up to the top of Angel Island, uh, you can walk up there. You're not allowed to take your bicycle. There are very few signposts, walk here and there, you could easily get lost. So uh, with your little Angel Island mobile companion, you can find your way with the interactive map up to the top through all the complicated foot, footpaths across the hills. I would say that the main benefit of using map to app was that it was really easy for me to create the different categories and then populate these different categories with places. For instance, the historic places category was so easy just to create them and to find, to be able to plot them on the map, it's almost automatic. Do I have any skills of programming, scripting, even though I am the president and creative director of the Center for Digital Archaeology? No, I don't have any of those skills. My skills are, as, are in the content, on the, in the content providing um, sphere. And so for me to have a program that or to have a platform where I can be as creative as I want and the programming is all carried out for me by the guys at Map2App. That's wonderful.